Stop scrolling. What if I told you that your crypto could make more crypto just by sitting still? No charts, no leverage, just chill and earn. Welcome to the world of staking, where your coins work while you sleep. Let me tell you a story before we begin. In a world where interest rates are shaky and centralized platforms are collapsing, more people are asking, can I actually earn passive income from crypto without risking it all? That's where staking comes in. Not hype, not speculation, just real on-chain rewards for helping secure the network. In this video, we'll break down exactly what staking is, how it works in 2025, and whether it's your ticket to passive income or just another crypto trap. Think of staking like putting your crypto to work. You lock up your tokens to help run and secure a blockchain network, and in return, you get paid in more tokens. It's kind of like a rewards program. But instead of airline miles, you're earning real crypto. Staking only works on proof-of-stake chains like Ethereum, Solana, Cardano, Polkadot, and many more. Here's the deal. Banks are giving you 0.01% interest. DeFi lending is riskier than ever. And after the FTX collapse, people don't trust centralized platforms like they used to. But staking? It's on-chain, non-custodial, and transparent. Right now, over $80 billion in crypto is being staked worldwide. People are earning between 4% to 15% APR, not by gambling, but by simply holding and contributing to the network. It's a passive income stream that also supports decentralization. Win-win? Maybe. But there's more to the story. There are three ways you can stake in 2025. Solo staking, run your own validator, requires tech skills plus 32 ETH or more. Delegated staking, stake through apps like Lido, Rocket Pool, Marinade, or exchanges like Coinbase. Liquid staking, earn rewards, and still use your assets for DeFi. Solana makes it dead simple. Just stake in your phantom wallet. Ethereum's ecosystem is maturing too, with Layer 2 staking, restaking, and tokenized staking derivatives, like St. ETH or RSETH. But staking isn't risk-free. Of course, it's not all sunshine and sweet APYs. Some networks lock your funds for days or even weeks. You can get slashed, meaning part of your stake gets burned if your validator messes up. And yes, your staking rewards won't save you from a 70% price crash. So no, staking isn't magic, but it's definitely not hype either. Despite the risks, staking remains one of the most popular ways to earn passive income in crypto. In 2025, staking isn't just a DeFi trend, it's becoming the default way to hold tokens like ETH and SOL. Whether you're all in on Ethereum, bullish on Solana, or just trying to earn while you hold DL, staking might be your new best friend. And as more people seek passive on-chain income, the question is no longer should I stake, but how and where? So what do you think? Are you already staking? Just thinking about it? Still sitting on a cold wallet, collecting dust? Or are you still waiting for a better APY than your bank's 0.01%? Drop your setup in the comments.